Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy in the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations. You must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan, and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct her lightsaber with her own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Indeed, we shall see. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Hmm, indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Yes, I suspected as much. Now, for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Sentinel. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? Here is a blue crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again, and he will instruct you in how to construct it. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber.
You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. They can modify simple things such as the color of your blade, or complex ones such as crystals that reputedly increase the strength of the beam. But you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect, and the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? For every Jedi, the threat of the Dark Side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove once used for deep meditation by the Jedi is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cathounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers, a threat the Jedi have promised to stop. The Cathounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the dark path are not always lost forever. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the force be with you. Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my... Companion, you see? We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see, and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? Not that I know of. Um... None of my neighbors really know he's there. Maybe it was the Mandalorians. Or maybe Cathounds. But no, Cathounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Although they have been more vicious lately. No, it must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Come to think of it, the door was locked. Well, yes it could have. But he had no reason to run away. His programming... Well, yes, he is a droid, but he is very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. He is very dear to me, my precious is. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Please, I beg of you, return my droid to me. Thank you. Thank you, Master Jedi. If you find him, please send him home to me. I need him so much. Uchua Fenki, Tony Tuamaji, human act in Inkatune, 
These settlers have come to Dantooine seeking privacy. Perhaps we should respect their wishes. <laughs> <laughs> 